Mutations are changes in DNA. Now that we've learned how DNA is used to code for proteins, we can take a closer look at how mutations affect our DNA. Let's start by reviewing patterns of chromosomes in cells. This is a karyotype of all the chromosomes in a typical human body cell, a female cell. Note that, except for gametes, your cells are diploid somatic cells. Diploid means that you have homologous pairs of chromosomes. So for humans, you have 23 chromosomes that occur in pairs for a total of 46. This is going to help us understand some of the different mutations that we're going to look at in a moment. So let's start with chromosomal mutations. These are major changes in the structure of chromosomes. The first one is a deletion, which is exactly what it sounds like. Part of a chromosome is lost, resulting in a chromosome with less genetic information. The second type is a duplication. This is the opposite. A portion of the chromosome is copied and then inserted, adding genetic information. Another type of chromosomal mutation is an inversion. In this case, a portion of the chromosome breaks off and inverts or flips upside down and then reattaches. So all of the genetic information is there, but some of the genetic information is in the wrong order. Now let's take a look at point mutations. These are smaller scale mutations, but they can still have very large impacts. So a point mutation is simply a single base change in the DNA sequence. Here's part of the DNA from the hemoglobin gene. Note that one of the codons is CTT. Here is a mutant gene for hemoglobin. One single base has changed from T to A. This is a point mutation. Now, point mutations can be a deletion, just a loss of a base, a substitution, as in this case, or it could be an insertion of a base. And depending on the type of point mutation, the effects on the cell can vary dramatically. For example, some point mutations result in missense mutations. If you look closely, here's the original DNA sequence and the original amino acid sequence that it codes for. In this case, what's happened is that one base in the codon has been substituted, an A for a C. And this results in a different amino acid being coded for, because GAA coded for glue, whereas GAC codes for ASP. Because there's a different amino acid, this is a missense. This is usually due to a substitution in the first or second base of a codon, because those are usually the two bases that determine uh, what the amino acid is. But in some cases, it can also be due to a substitution in the third base. Another type of point mutation is a silent mutation. If you look here, one single base has been changed from an A to a G. However, both GAA and GAG ultimately code for the same amino acid. So this mutation has no effect on the cell. It doesn't change the amino acid sequence, and thus it doesn't change the protein structure or the protein shape. So that's why it's considered a silent mutation. Some silent mutations occur because there are parts of the chromosome that don't code for proteins at all. So if there's a mutation in those parts, it again won't affect the traits. Here's a third type of point mutation, and this is one of the most severe. Here what we've got is one single base has been deleted. And the problem with this is that we now have a frame shift. The entire codon reading frame shifts over. So instead of a codon GAA and then GCA and then a CGT, we now have AAG, CAC, and GT, which isn't even a codon at all. So what's happened is that after the mutation, every single amino acid is now affected. That's very dramatic. And this tends to happen when there's either a deletion or an insertion of a base, because that will affect the whole reading frame. The final point mutation is a nonsense mutation. 
And in this case, what happens is that a single base change results in a stop codon, for example, which stops translation of the DNA sequence prematurely. This could also happen if a start codon is mutated, in which case mutation or translation wouldn't occur at all. Now that we've seen types of mutations, what causes these mutations? Well, the fact is that most mutations are random. They're just mistakes that occur during DNA replication. And proofreading enzymes catch most of the mistakes, but every once in a while some get missed, and that's just bad luck or good luck, depending on the mutation. However, there are some mutations that are due to environmental factors, like radiation, or UV light, or chemicals. These are agents in the environment that can cause base changes in the DNA, and these agents in the environment are known as mutagens. However, this is only a few of the errors, the mutations in DNA. Again, most of them are random. Note that examples of mutagens include UV light, radiation, and certain carcinogenic chemicals. And that concludes our explanation of different types of mutations and how they can occur in the cell.